GLP-1 analog liraglutide is approved by the FDA as adjunct therapy long-term weight management in people older than 12 years. With the prevalence of obesity in children on the rise, could this therapy be an option for children? I'm NEJM Editorial Fellow, Dr. Harleen Marwa, and this is 60 Second Journal Club. Obesity is a chronic relapsing and progressive disease, and obesity in childhood is a predictor of adolescent and adult obesity. The SCALE KIDS trial assessed the safety and efficacy of liraglutide therapy in children aged 6 to 12 years. In this Phase 3A trial in nine countries, 82 children aged 6 to 12 with obesity underwent a 56-week treatment period plus a 26-week follow-up period. Participants were randomly assigned in a 2 to 1 ratio to receive either once daily subcutaneous liraglutide or placebo added to lifestyle interventions. The primary endpoint was percentage change in BMI and confirmatory secondary endpoints were percentage change in body weight and reduction in BMI of at least 5%. At week 56, the average change in baseline BMI was negative 5.8% in the liraglutide group and 1.6% in the placebo group. Additionally, a reduction in BMI of at least 5% occurred in 45% of participants in the liraglutide group compared with 9% in the placebo group. However, 80% of participants in the liraglutide group experienced GI adverse events compared with 54% in the placebo group. And there were more serious adverse events with liraglutide, 12%, versus 8% in the placebo group. In the 26-week follow-up after the trial treatment had ended, BMI and body weight increased in both groups by 10.7% in the liraglutide group and 19% in the placebo group, demonstrating that obesity is a chronic relapsing disease.